The year was 1990, and Africa was going to be represented by two teams at the World Cup in Italy. These two teams, Egypt and Cameroon, performed woefully at the African Nations Cup of that year. But at the world stage, one team defied the odds and won the hearts of soccer fans all over. This is the story of the indomitable Lions of Cameroon and a dancing 38-year-old footballer that put Cameroon on the world map of football. Two years before the World Cup Finals, Cameroon had won the African Nations Cup for the second time in their history by beating Nigeria 1-0 in the 1988 AFCON Finals. They continued their superb run of good form into the World Cup qualifiers the following year, beating the Super Eagles of Nigeria and Tunisia to qualify for the World Cup for the second time in the nation's history. In 1990, Cameroon qualified automatically as defending champions of the African Nations Cup of that year. Everyone expected them to turn up and win a trophy, but this wasn't the case. The massive underperformance of the team was a surprise and a group that comprised of Senegal, Zambia, and Kenya. The team only managed to record one win throughout the entire tournament. It was against the Harambe Stars of Kenya, but it was little too late as they had already been eliminated before the match was played. As Cameroon made its way home after being eliminated from the 1990 Nations Cup, all eyes shifted toward the 1990 FIFA World Cup in Italy. Based on their form at that time, many did not give them any chance, especially when their first game at the tournament was against defending champions, Argentina. The Argentine side of that era had the likes of Claudio Canigia, Sergio Goitache, Roberto Sensini, and Diego Maradona. In their first game against Argentina, Cameroon played with incredible physical strength. Despite ending the match with only nine men, the African side held on to shock the football world with a 1-0 win. With contrasting fortunes for the Big brothers, Francis Big scored the winning goal in the 67th minute, shortly after seeing his brother Andre Big sent off for a serious foul in the 61st minute. In their second game against Romania, Cameroon introduced Roger Mila, who became a catalyst for Cameroon's success at the tournament. 16 minutes after coming onto the pitch, Roger Mila outmuscled Romanian center back Ion Andone to score the first goal of the match. He would later add another one four minutes before the final whistle to help Cameroon to a 2 1 win over Romania. At the age of 38, Roger Mila's goals made him the oldest goal scorer in the tournament, and his corner flag celebrations also became an iconic symbol for the games. With progression assured, Cameroon slumped to a 4-0 defeat in their final group game to the Soviet Union. It didn't really matter as Cameroon had defied all odds and qualified from a group that no one had given them a chance. In their second round match, the heroics of Cameroon and Raja Mila continued in their game with Colombia. Mila was introduced as a second half substitute with the game goalless, eventually breaking the deadlock midway in extra time. Three minutes later, he netted a second after Colombian goalkeeper Rene Hagita was removed from the goal by Mila, leaving the striker free to slot the ball into the empty net. Cameroon held on to become the first African team ever to reach the World Cup quarterfinals. The quarterfinal between England and Cameroon was the only quarterfinal to produce more than one goal. Despite Cameroon's heroics earlier in the tournament, David Platt put England ahead in the 25th minute. At halftime, Mila was brought on. In the second half, the game was turned on its head in the space of five minutes. First, Cameroon was awarded a penalty from which Emmanuel Koundé scored the equalizer. Then in the 65th minute, Eugene Iquique put Cameroon ahead. Cameroon came within eight minutes of reaching the semifinals before they conceded a penalty, which Gary Lineker converted. Midway through extra time, England was awarded another penalty and Lineker again scored from the spot. Although Cameroon was knocked out at the quarterfinal stage, 
they could hold their head up to the fact that they became the first African side to ever reach the quarterfinal of a World Cup. The heroics has helped break the jinx that African teams don't do well at World Cup tournaments and has helped inspire the Nigerian, Senegalese, and Ghanaian football teams to great performances on the world stage.